Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super space travel. Have you ever seen the way that astronauts move in space? They sort of float around inside their rockets, like they are flying very slowly. Or have you ever seen the original moon landing from 1969, when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin first set foot on the moon? They sort of bounced around like they were really light. Well, that would be a great power to have, actually. And the reason why astronauts can move like that is because of something called gravity. Actually, it's because of a lack of gravity. Let me explain. Gravity is the force that pulls things down to Earth. Everything with mass, Everything made of matter, like us, has some gravity. The more mass, the more gravity. The Earth has a lot of mass. It's pretty big, way bigger than Nano Nano Girl. And there's lots of stuff in the middle of the planet, which is super heavy, like rocks and lava and molten metal. Gravity is what keeps our moon close too, and it stops it spinning way off into space. And it's why things like satellites and the International Space Station orbit the Earth and also don't fly away. Bigger planets with more mass have more gravity. Smaller planets, or small moons, like our moon, which we call, you know, the moon, have less gravity because they have less mass. On the moon, you would weigh about 17% of your weight here on Earth. So if a person weighs 60 kilos here on Earth, they'd only weigh 10.2 kilos on the moon. However, if you were standing on Jupiter, which is much more massive than Earth, the gravity is 2.4 times as strong as it is on Earth. That same person who weighs 60 kilos would now weigh 144 kilos standing on Jupiter. They'd also be standing on a gas giant, a big, ball of hydrogen and helium. Anyway, when astronauts journey through space, there is often hardly any gravity inside the rocket. We call this microgravity. And it means that the people and all the stuff inside the rockets, they just float around. If I wanted to drink a glass of water, it would just float straight out of the glass. I wonder if there's an experiment that I can do to keep the water in my glass so that I can drink it when I'm on my super space missions. Huh. For this experiment, you will need an empty recycled plastic bottle, a drinking glass, string, scissors, some thin card, and some water. First, let's see if I could make a lid for my glass, which would keep the water inside if it was upside down. So first, you'll need to cut a square of card that's big enough to fit over the top of your glass. And so if we do this, and I turn this upside down, let's see what happens to the card. It falls off because of gravity. So here's the experiment that we're going to do. I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. Add your card onto the top. Okay, hold it on with your hand and turn it upside down. Ta-da! Now we saw what happened before, which is when I let go of the card without the water in there, it actually fell off. So let's see what happens now when we do it. Here we go. I'm going to let go. Three, two, one. Look at that! It's actually staying! The water stays in the glass even though it's upside down and the car didn't fall off. And this happens because of something called air pressure. That's the force of air pushing on us. The air is actually pushing the card upwards and the gravity is pushing the water downwards. And these two forces are equal, which means that the card stays here and the water stays in the glass. But what about if we want to take the lid off and have a drink? Well, we have a second experiment to show you that. So this next experiment will use acceleration to keep the water in our glass, even if I turn it upside down over my head. So you're gonna take your empty plastic bottle and you're going to cut it from the bottom to give you a plastic cup. Now we have our plastic cup. Get a grown up to help you use some scissors and make two holes on opposite sides of the plastic, about one centimeter down from the rim. The holes need to be large enough to put some string in there. Next, measure and cut a length of string about twice as long as your arm and tie one end of the string into each hole. You want to make sure you tie these as tight as possible with at least a double, if not a triple knot. Okay, so we have our plastic cup and our string. 
Now before we get to the water part, it's worth testing. So hold it as tight as you can. I like to loop it around my hand once so it doesn't swing off. And you want to swing it around in a circle like this. Make sure you don't go too slow. Once you've practiced that a few times, it's time for your water. Pour some water into your plastic cup. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, do you think you can harness the power of acceleration to overcome gravity and keep the water in this container? Ooh, you do? Perfect. I'm just going to put you inside here, and if this goes horribly wrong, you're going to get horribly wet. Let's see what happens. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Let's stand where there's not too much stuff around us. We're gonna attach this to our hand. Make sure that you've got a good grip on it. Here we go. Nano, nano girl, are you ready? She said she is. Three, two, one. Look, the water is still in there. Nano, nano girl is getting dizzy, but she is not at all wet. The water stayed in the container and something called centripetal acceleration, which was stronger than gravity, meant that the water didn't fall out. What's that, Nana Nana Girl? You didn't know it was gonna be another spinning experiment and you're a little bit dizzy. Sorry, probably should have warned you. Anyway, well, I hope you can overcome gravity too and keep your water in the container. I recommend trying these experiments outside just in case. Well, I think this has been a very successful week so far. What about you? We have two more space experiments to go, and then I think we're well on our way to becoming the science superpowers of the solar system. What's that, Nana and I, girl? You think you're in space already? What? Oh, because you're seeing stars. Oh, dear. I promise I won't spin you tomorrow. Okay, I will see you then. Bye.